Welcome to Mr. Spreadsheet's YouTube channel. In this small business video, I will show you how to create your own sales ledger spreadsheet. The template can be easily expanded and amended to suit your accounting needs. And the video will show you how to create a simple table using the Excel table creation tool, which you can update with your own data. And finally, use Excel's filtering tool to analyze this. As usual on our videos, I will show you how to get a copy of the final template later on in this video. And if you need any help on the Excel functions that I've used, then please do leave a comment below. I hope you enjoy watching. We are going to create our sales ledger and sales daybook by using Excel's table function. So, Open up a new worksheet and navigate to cell E4 and enter date. Move across to F4 and enter transaction type. G4 becomes customer. H4 is reference 1. I4 becomes reference 2. In J4 it's match. And finally in K4 enter value. Now Highlight the range E4 through to K19. From the Insert ribbon, select the Table tool. And in the dialog box that opens, don't change the data coordinates and simply check the My Table Has Headers box. And now click OK. Make sure that the Total Row box is checked and choose a table style to your liking. And quite simply, that is our template created. In the next section, we will enter some data and explore the table characteristics to help us with this task. Enter any date in cell E5 and in the transaction type field, enter invoice. Our customer is ABC Limited and the first reference is our invoice number. Leave the second reference blank and leave the match field blank and enter in a total of 1,200. Now in cell E6, enter in another date and then in cell F6, just type in the letter I. Immediately you enter the letter I, Excel recognises that you may wish to enter invoice as per the cell above. Just press enter to accept this. This is a great time-saving feature and we'll use this feature extensively throughout the video. For now, simply complete the rest of the row by entering the data shown and then copy in the data for the next nine lines. Note that receipts and credits are recorded as negative numbers. As you progress through this task, you will be presented with many opportunities to use this auto recognition function. Please do pause the video whilst you enter the data. Let's now quickly format our value range. So highlight cells K5 through to K20 and then right click your mouse. Select format cells from the menu options and choose number from the category field. Set this to two decimal places with the 1000 comma separator checked and negative numbers to show in red, preceded by a minus sign. And now click OK. Select cell K20 and from the home ribbon, double click the increase font size tool. Select the range H4 through to J4 and align these cells to the left. Let's enter a heading into cell E2 and make this bold and increase the font size. Now extend the width of column K and indeed any other column such that all the cell contents are clearly visible. Finally from the page layout ribbon uncheck the view grid lines box to give our worksheet a crisp and clear white background. And now in the final section we will match off the receipts against invoices and demonstrate the use of Excel's filtering tool 
so that you can easily analyse your data. We will now analyse the data for our customer ABC Limited by clicking on the filtering drop down box immediately to the left of the customer header field G4. In the search field, enter just the letters ABC and in the search results section you will see that ABC Limited is the only record selected. This is exactly what we want, so press enter. Now your data table truncates to show only transactions for ABC Limited. There are six transactions as shown by the number six in cell K20. Use the drop down box alongside and select the sum command to give us the values of these six items. You will note that we only have one receipt for 2,600. This 2,600 represents payment for invoices 8,569 and 8,572, less the credit for 200. Match these off by typing the word match in the match field for each transaction. Now deselect the filter on the customer field by clicking on the select all box and then click OK. The entire data table now reappears. Let's suppose that we want to view only the unpaid transactions for ABC Limited. You can do this by using multiple filters. So first from the customer filter drop down box select ABC as before. And then from the match drop down box simply deselect the select all box and select the blanks box. Click OK and now only the unpaid invoices are displayed. You can also use the undo command to quickly reinstate your entire data table. Just press the control key and the Z key simultaneously. Do this once for each undo routine. Try out some of your own filtering routines so they become more familiar with this process. Now obviously when using your own data table you may wish to expand the capacity of the table. By using techniques already shown you can easily achieve this. Now you have a very presentable and feature rich sales ledger and sales daybook spreadsheet. Thank you for your attention. We do hope that you enjoyed our spreadsheet video and that there was lots of content that you found both useful and informative. Now, if you would like us to send you a copy of this spreadsheet file, then please subscribe to our channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Alternatively, please visit one of our channels on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. Now, if you are a small business and want to keep your bookkeeping records in Excel, then why not watch our accounting spreadsheet tutorial? Alternatively, why not view our How to Keep Your Accounts in Excel video? This is our easy to use and inexpensive solution for your small business bookkeeping needs. Thank you once again for watching our spreadsheet video and, oh yes, please do subscribe to our channel.